back to the vlogs. It's Saturday afternoon. It's like 4.40. You want sauce? What, which one? <laughs> Why are you whispering? Because you're in the vlog. I know. It's 4.30 in the afternoon and we were just running errands this morning doing some stuff. And now we stopped by Dice because I haven't eaten yet. I've actually never had Dice. This is what I got. I got a salad, spinach base with cilantro, lime, quinoa, broccoli, more cilantro, avocado, cucumbers, tomatoes, no, red peppers and onions. And then I did like a spicy aioli and cilantro dressing mix. Well, I'll pretty much just got the same thing, but with rice and shrimp and chicken. Steak. Yeah. Oh, steak, okay. Shrimp and steak. It's actually really good. <laughs> Baby whole mouth was just <laughs> open. <laughs> In real life. I, that was intense. Um, yeah, so we're gonna fuel up real quick and then we're gonna go grab prints and then we have to go return or exchange something for a different size. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We got a couple of things for tomorrow. Tomorrow's all his birthday. I know, I'm thinking of like that s sound in my head, but it's like silence in here where it's like, yay, the claps sound effect. We have brunch planned. We're not doing anything crazy as of right now. Our birthdays, if you guys know, are three days apart. My dad's birthday is the day before mine, so my it's just a lot of birthdays going on right now. We've been traveling a lot and we've been doing, it's, it's always hard around our birthdays because they fall right by Thanksgiving. Christmas is next month. And last month was our anniversary. So I felt like we just did something, we traveled. And it's just like, it always falls around a time where we're like doing a lot of stuff anyways. Anyways, tomorrow's Al's birthday. We're gonna do brunch. And then I don't know what we're doing after. You need to go pick up a few things or something to wear. We're also traveling and like, very, very soon. So we need things for that because we're going in different climates and I just don't have anything pretty much. I feel like, I just always feel like my gals get me. But I'm like an online shopper. I don't shop in stores. So I've been doing like some online searching and trying to figure out what direction I wanna go. What am I getting? All of that. So that's that. But I also, we stopped by this like market that I've never been to. We actually went to go get food, but we ended up, it was like a healthy food store. We didn't end up getting food. We got food from Dice, but we shopped like stuff. Anyways, I'm, I'm gonna show you guys what I got in a little bit after I eat. But I got snacks. I'm a snacker, especially chips, like my weakness. So I got a few snacks. Um, I'm gonna show you guys what I got after, but it's like stuff you don't really see in the stores and like regular grocery stores. So it's really cool. So I'm happy about that. First things first is I'm going to eat this salad. How is yours, by the way? You like it or? If I'm not talking, it's good. This is spicy. Like they did not play around with the spicy aioli. Like spicy aioli is usually like white colored and it's just like slightly spicy. This is like. <gasps> did you spill it? Yeah, just, just a little bit, but where's the napkin? Okay, I'm gonna do a little, a little food haul because we went to snack on some of these on the ride to go for the prints. Um, I got these, I've seen these before, I've had them, but I've never had this flavor. It's the lentil chips spicy sriracha from the Daily Crave. All of these were very overpriced. It's like a little market. This was $5.19, which I feel like is very expensive for a small bag of chips like this, but it's part of the game. When you're getting stuff like this, it's part of the game. This I've never seen. Natural nectar, potato chips, honey mustard, and white truffle. Babe, I really got this because of you because I know you love white truffle. This was $4.79. I feel like you're gonna like this. Yeah. You love honey mustard and you love truffle. I don't love honey mustard. You do like honey mustard. <clears throat> I don't know. I feel like you like honey mustard. Did you buy a popcorn? Yeah. Oh, good. Pop Zoop. Pop by hand with love, cheddar head popcorn. Whole grain, 11% of your daily fiber, three grams of protein, gluten free. A lot is going on here, but these look amazing. They have the, oh, they have other flavors, cheesy herby. Ooh, maple cinnamon toast. I'm not a fan of like sweet popcorn, unless it's like kettle corn. Butter me up and cheddar head is the one we got. These are $7, $6.95 for this little tiny bag, but I'm sure they're good. I'm sure they're good. I, I know you're gonna love this. You yeah. love cheddar popcorn. <laughs> what? You don't? Cheddar popcorn is good. I mean, yeah. I like kettle. Give me some kettle. Babe, you like 
kettle corn. I got these Emmy's Organics Soft and Chewy Coconut Cookie Vanilla Bean. Clearly, I'm a snacker, and I keep saying, Lau's gonna love this, Lau's gonna love this, but in reality, it's really you. I'm, I'm the snacker. <laughs> I'm just like justifying it, these purchases somehow. These look amazing. They only have coconut agave, almond flour, coconut oil, vanilla extract, Himalayan salt, vanilla bean powder, and that's it. But these look really good and simple and clean and just absolutely delicious. Vanilla bean, I had to have them. Oh, and those were $6.49. And then I got these Evergreen Superfood Bites. They're only three ingredients, which I really liked, and they're pretty low on carbs, which, whoa. It was a really good, like, low-carb snack. Not that I'm, like, low-carb right now or anything like that, but if I can get a, a snack that tastes good and it's low-carb, I would, I would go for it. These are uh, figs, chia seeds, and walnuts. That's literally all that's in here. And these are $5.99. And then I got these, buy one, get one free, Olina's Seeded Crackers in the chili and lime flavor. These look really good. I don't know why they're buy one, get one free. Maybe they're just continuing. I always check the expiration. They're like pretty good for like another year. But these were $5.29, but they were buy one, get one free. So I had to get them just because they sounded good and a sale. What do you want to try first, babe? Uh, cheddar popcorn. Cheddar popcorn it is. Hmm. Wow, these are really good. These are not your regular cheddar popcorn. These are like, it just tastes so different. I don't know how to explain it. It just I feel tastes like really we're good. Sideways. Yeah. yeah. The mount keeps moving because the screen is not secure enough. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, I'm trying the fig superfood bites. Tastes salty. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's good. Mm -hmm. Try the other half. What is it? Fig bite. I don't like fig. Alright. Oh, come here. It's good. It's sweet. Yeah, it's a fig. fig. You know what a fig is, right? Mm, Superfood. It has yeah. like a. Just see the walnuts, that's it. Yeah. It only has three ingredients, which is why I got it. Because it's like simple but yummy, and I feel like it just gives you a nice boost of energy. Yeah. Figs, yeah. I love good. figs. Figs are like. I wish they were like all year long and not seasonal because they're like one of my favorite fruits. We went to Sephora and Lal got his skincare products that he ran out of. The belief cream being one of them. It's probably not going to focus because it sucks out. There we go. <laughs> I think I think we can see it, babe. It's like ASMR. No, AS, there's like a thing on it. ASMR is sounds, not. I know. I was about to do some sounds. There's no really sounds. Oh, feel body. the consistency of this. Whoa, it's like fudge. Looks like Jello. Yeah, it's so good. It's like Jello. Like, look. We went to Sephora, and now. I'm about to unload the dishwasher. We're gonna just do a few things around the house and then just chill and have quality time. I'm about to feed Princey. He's eating his little bone over there. I'll show you guys. So where do you have your favorite little bones? I know. I know we have a whole bag of these. I know we have them on Amazon subscription because you go through them like crazy. He loves these bones. So yeah, that's the plan for the rest of the evening. It's eight o'clock right now. I'm gonna do a dishwasher, clean up some things. Lala and I are gonna put like clothes away. We did laundry and all that. We just have to do some things around the house and then we're gonna just spend quality time. I wanna do some shopping for um, a few trips that we have coming up and it's Black Friday. Well, Black Friday started early, but there's just a lot of sales going on right now online. So I wanted to like look up some like cool pieces and like grab something if I find something. I need like cold weather clothes, which I haven't purchased any in like over two years because we live somewhere where it's like always summertime. But I need cold weather clothes for like places that are freezing. So I still have a lot of my New York clothes, but like I only kept essentials from New York, like coats, like quality coats that I had and jackets, but not many other pieces. and. I don't know, you just get tired of some things. So I'm gonna see what I can find, but that's pretty much the plan for the end of the day. Tomorrow we have a long day ahead of us. I will unload, oh I didn't, oh baby, you unloaded the dishwasher already? Oh shoot, I had no idea. Okay, well I'm gonna 
put these glasses away. I didn't show you guys my outfit today, unfortunately, but I was just wearing this crop shirt with these cargo pants and then my black Hermes sandals and then my Celine, black Celine bag, my black sunnies. I was doing an all black look today, but it's actually feeling a little bit cooler in Miami. Like I'm talking like the coolest it's been so far. Like it feels amazing. It's still warm enough where I can wear a crop top, right? But it's definitely not humid and like sweaty hot like it normally is. Especially at night, there's like a little bit of a breeze and it's like amazing. We are off to a brunch. wild morning which is why i didn't vlog I, my, my plan was to like chat with you guys and vlog to get ready with me x y and z i got ready in like 30 minutes we just started the morning late and then i was running around trying to get my packages and our building was just they were being so rude and anyways we couldn't get our packages to hold another ordeal um so i had to put something together last minute but we're off to brunch. I'm really excited because I'm also starving and I'm ready to have some drinks. Are you, you're probably starving too. Very hungry. Starving. Yeah. So I'm really excited. Their food's really good. I've been there only once before. Have you? Yeah. What's the food like? Gosh, I don't remember. It's like a mix. Like, I think there was like sushi vibes. There was also like meat. I don't even remember. It's like, I just know it's like, uh, I know where it is. I've seen it, yeah. yeah. Today, we woke up. You couldn't even see outside the, our apartment windows. It was white, like it was so foggy. It's clearing up now. Windy, pouring rain. I'm like, whoa, where did this come from? Wasn't expecting that. So it's it's still raining really hard outside and it's like windy. I don't know if you can even tell in the video, but um, yeah, so we have to deal with that. I did my makeup in like 30 minutes, so I don't even know I don't even know. I don't even know if it looks good. I didn't even look at it outside. I feel like through the camera it looks fine, but got ready, put this outfit on, and now we're off to Mila. We're like five minutes away. are so dry I just have to do this before I talk to you guys because I feel like they're literally gonna crack I'm using the merit I think this is like the lip oil um, we just got done with brunch well, I went to go grab something um, so I figured I would fill you guys in but we had such a good time it was such a good vibe there um, besides the weather but someone sent Lao something where it says like if it, this is like a Chinese, I guess it's based off of the Chinese calendar or it's like a Chinese belief or something like that. I don't know, but it pretty much says if it rains on your birthday, it's a sign of good luck. 
especially if it doesn't often rain like where you are like if it just unusually rains it's not like if you just live somewhere where it's always raining you know what i mean like if it's just like unusually raining like today where it's like non-stop intense rain the moment we woke up um and it started last night it's a sign of good luck if it's on your birthday or like on a celebration like a special celebration it's a sign of good luck so I think someone sent him that we're talking about that and that's really nice everything in this life it's all about perspective and how you see things like we have this thing where we always say it's like when something happens we always say like it's not happening to you it's happening for you pretty much meaning like everything happens for a good reason whether through your eyes it doesn't seem good and you wouldn't describe this experience or moment as good it always works out in your benefit in some shape way or form in the long run if that makes sense and when you look out back on life you realize a lot of like the things you did go through whether they were challenging in the moment or not they always worked in your favor so we always have this thing where like something in our eyes is like negative that's happening where like it, this is not happening to us it's like for us that makes sense i don't know why i just shared that but i just thought of that the food was really good i'm full like i'm full and i think lyle also said he's full that was my goal because i was like much bigger as you know so he eats a lot of food and i always want to make sure he's like satisfied because how much i eat is not how much he's gonna eat and especially in a situation like this where it was our first meal and it's his birthday i wanted to make sure he was full and he was full we had a lot of the brunch the way it's styled is like you pay a flat rate and you get unlimited food and drinks but our server kind of like organized the order of the food for us and like what we should get based on his recommendation so we just kind of like let him do his own thing and he brought us like the most popular appetizers which are like small sharing size but i like when you go to dinner and you like this is my favorite i would rather instead of like ordering an entree and like an appetizer i would rather have a bunch of different things to try like that are small sizes and do that versus like one big entree and like an appetizer or not an appetizer just like an entree and that's it if that makes sense like i'd rather like pick out a lot of different variety of food the uh chef like brought out this like assortment of desserts and fresh fruit um it was like happy birthday so yeah really cute 4 30 like this day just flew by so yeah i need a coffee when i get home i have to look at like our portal for you guys know that we were looking at homes in la we still are um our agent like we still have access to like the real estate portal where we see like listings that fit our criteria as soon as they hit the market so i always go through that a few times a week and like delete or heart my favorite so i can like keep track of what's on the market what's still available um so i have to do that i want to finish ordering some things for the trip that i haven't ordered yet and have like the tabs open on my laptop i was gonna do i actually went this morning when i woke up to order one of the uh to like fulfill one of the carts i had ready and like so many of the items were sold out i was like are you kidding me since last night they weren't even like popular items or anything like that on the website so i'm like how did i am just chilling at home have my sweats on sitting on the couch i am drinking my chlorophyll water which you guys know i drink every day this black thing it's actually really dark green but in this lighting it looks black and then afterwards my teeth and tongue are all green but and my lips but it's okay it's part of the process it really helps me to just feel more hydrated when i'm drinking my water and it just helps like cleanse and keep you balanced a bunch of stuff if you're interested in learning more about it i would just google the benefits of chlorophyll you want little cuddles buddy yes you do <laughs> you're such a spoiled little brat i can't with you you are so spoiled do you hear him making noises right now he was making he makes noises at me when i'm like scratching him and cuddling it oh my gosh porky 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 buff porky porky buff I'm on Levi's. I'm trying to figure out. I need like a pair of like boot cut jeans. And I feel like they have really good like quality. Like what am I trying to say? I guess like a timeless and very versatile fit. So I think I'm going to get a pair of the 501s. And then I have to create some content for the clothing lines IG. And I'm working on the face the front page of the website need to update a few things so yeah that's kind of what's going on right now
it's a few days later. It's Tuesday evening. Um, and I've just been working nonstop with B B BFCM, Black Friday, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, about to happen at the end of this week and then early next week. And I've just been dealing with a lot with the clothing brand and just working nonstop on so many different things. But I'm going to utilize the last like hour-ish of light we have and I'm quickly going to, before it gets dark, I'm quickly going to get ready and I have to shoot some content for why I sell beauty. Um, so that's what I'm going to do and there's golden hour in the office. So I'm going to utilize the lighting in there and then the white wall to shoot this content. I actually was going to shoot some content for the clothing line, but I just don't, I just don't have time with like the light. Um, so I'm going to do that tomorrow morning, but Okay, I use a little bit of beauty balm, then this luminizer. I haven't been vlogging the last few days just because I've just been working. So there's like not much to vlog besides me working all day long. Um, my birthday is tomorrow. Today was my dad's, well today is my dad's birthday. My birthday is tomorrow, but honestly it just, it just feels like any other day, which is how my birthday, I'm not a big birthday person. Like it's not just a birthday in regards to the fact that you are just getting older, which I don't like to think about. So to me, it's just another day. The thought of getting older just scares me, not in a responsibilities or maturing type of way. I've always just, I felt like literally a 40 year old woman and a 20 year old 20 year old's body even when i was like 20. um just the, what scares me is how quickly time goes by and how short of a time we have on this planet to live our life and be happy and take risks and love people and experience and the people around us are also on the same timeline as us so i hate thinking about that because it just makes me really sad so yeah, I think I'm just gonna end up doing music over this because I have nothing else to fill you guys in on and I'm like rushing so I'm out of breath but I really just need to get this makeup done. It's birthday day. It's been a good morning so far. Woke up and he went and like got food. I got to sleep in a little bit. Um, and I had some troubles waking up this morning after last night. And I was like, I don't mind sleeping in a little bit. He went and got his breakfast and I got to eat breakfast in bed, which I like never get to do. He got like, um, chia seed pudding it was delicious with like fresh fruit and almonds and coconut i believe it was toasted on top and then like avocado smash and all that but I, I was just too full so that's in the fridge for later i'm like i'm just gonna have that for lunch or later on in the day because i never eat really early anyways prince you wanted to come in here and now you want to leave make up no you're staying here you're staying here come here i have our um bedroom door closed because that was in meetings so you can hear him talking if the door is open but prince can't make when somebody closes the door on him he like just wants to keep walking in and out in and out and i'm like no that's not what we're doing right now either staying in here or you're going out there he just can't he doesn't he does this every time i'm like oh what on the bed on the bed christopher you had your breakfast you went out you're good go sleep on the bed 
birthday morning, getting ready because I have to shoot um, some content for my clothing line. I'm wearing the Tia top right now. You guys know it's like one of my favorite tops. The fabric is literally buttery soft. Everybody that has this top is like, I know what you mean about the fabric. It's so good. I'm obsessed. I have it obviously in all the colors, which we have only black and white right now. If you guys want to have this top made in any other color, let me know down below. I always love your feedback. So I'm wearing that and then I'm wearing our, here, let me get up here, our Alexandra pants, which are my favorite pants. I literally made my favorite pant in a pant because that's what I do with all the pieces. I create like classic pieces that you might already have like a pair of high-waisted pants but I perfect them to like what I would want in a pair of pants that I've never been able to purchase from anywhere. So I gotta say, I'm, I'm gonna be wearing these pants for the rest of my life, point blank period. So Prince of Fire, he's about to go scratch the door again. So I'm going to just do a really easy makeup. We're going to dinner tonight. So I'm like, if I do my makeup now, I never, I'm not the type of person that like can do their makeup in the morning and then take it off just to redo it at night. Mm -mm. I just touch it up. I'm gonna use a primer this morning. That way, hopefully it like lasts a little bit better and longer. Um, but we have dinner tonight. I mean, it is, it is noon, it's like almost 12. So it's not morning, morning, but okay. That's it. You're leaving and you're not coming back. You hear me? Go. Goodbye. You're done. I'm gonna watch a video on my phone while I do my makeup and I will chat with you guys afterwards, I think, when I'm done because I have nothing else to fill you in on besides that. Christian just texted me that. Oh, I know. I, do you want some too? <laughs> Christian just texted me that there's something at the door for my birthday. What is this? Let's see. Cloud Nine desserts. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, child. Babe. Oh my gosh, hold on. This looks amazing. Tell me this is. Oh my god, is this ice cream? Is this ice cream? Christian, right about, what is this? Cause this is good. Gigi's birthday today. This is so good. Let's see. I don't know what it is, but it's so good. It's not poison, babe. Relax. Some good eats here. Cloud nine. This is amazing. Thank you, Christian. Love you forever. <laughs> you know the key to my heart. Mm-hmm.
to eat this salmon salad. This is what Lal got for us earlier. Well, for me, but it's salmon and onions, cucumber, radishes. Anyway, it's just like a salad, a little salad sitch, a little salmon, and a little sauce for the salmon. I think this is just tartar sauce. And just what I need right now, because I'm actually hungry. I just put up my hair really quickly and look how linty this pillow has gotten. We don't use it, it just sits on the couch. I don't even know where this lint comes from and I used a little like lint, little gadget machine to like take all of this off and then like a week later it's like this, I don't know why, I think it's just the material. But I just got off a call with Facebook, Meta, whatever they're called and now I'm gonna, Prince for get away from my salad. And now I'm going to have a little bit of the salad and start getting ready for later. Oh, I'm gonna do a little unboxing for you because some packages came from stuff that I ordered. And yeah. Just got back from taking Prince on a little play date with his friends and I have a bunch of packages. Whoa. So I figured I could do a quick unboxing before I quickly shower and I'm not taking off my makeup. I'm just like showering my body. I'm getting ready and we're gonna go to Soho House, have a drink and then we're gonna go to dinner. Hi, Princey. I'm about to give you dinner too. I think I have this. It's the cleansing balm. It's our classic cleansing balm. Love that. And this is like a, ooh, a little journal. Nice. It says, I found myself in a dream. Cute, 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 cute. Thank you, you to the people. Rosing. Love. This is gifting, by the way. I always, I always mention when it's gifting versus something I purchased. Packaging, A plus. Rose Inc. gets my aesthetic, literally to a T. Hold on, Prince, I'm about to feed you. Or should I feed you now? Rose Inc. Eye Collection 2022. Oh, so aesthetic. Wow. So aesthetic. A plus plus plus. Okay, I'm taking out the product. Okay. First thing is, oh, I think she recently started skincare with Rose Inc. So this is the Missler Makeup Remover. And then the Ultra Black Lash Lift Mascara. And we have, it looks like eyeshadows. Satin Plum and Lavender Shimmer Eyeshadow. And then this is a refill of the eyeshadow palette in Satin Olive. I don't even know if the camera's focusing. And this looks like a cute little, oh, wait, what? Looks like a cute little brush. Oh, wait, this is the cutest brush, like a travel brush to go travel like brush container. This is so cute. I love that. And then inside, I'm assuming these are brushes. Eyeshadow brush, eyeshadow brush. Love that. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much to Rose Inc. Oops. Oops. All right, next up, uh, oh. I made a little mango purchase. Like I said, I need some stuff for our upcoming trip and I just don't have, I just don't have what I need. You know, you know when you're just like, you don't have what you need and you feel like you do, but you don't. First thing is this skirt and I'm gonna try everything on and see if it all works or if I have to return anything, I hope I don't have to return anything because I was hoping it would all work. This like pleather little pleated skirt. I feel like this is very cute with boots. Really, really cute. Next is, what did I get? Oh, this skirt. I got this little denim. It's not even little. I think it's like a maxi skirt. This denim maxi skirt in white with a slit in the front. Well, I hope this fits me. Looks a little tight. It's long and it has like a slit right here. If you guys can see that. Really cute. I'm gonna try these on right after to make sure everything fits and looks as I imagined. Then we have, oh, these are the leggings. Really cute. I just got these long leggings with a slit at the bottom. I think you have to unzip the zipper for it to have a slit moment, yeah. 
really cute and I was hoping to wear these with like a little blazer, a little crop top and like cute heels. I don't have leggings like that with like a slit so I definitely needed that. And I just got two classic like simple everyday tops. Let me show you guys. A little turtleneck moment, but it's not like a real turtleneck. It's like a little mini turtleneck, if you know what I mean. Just like a tight beige top. This will all make sense when you guys see my vlog as to where we're going and why I need a close. I also got this little bra top. We're gonna see how this looks. Hopefully it looks cute on. And then, what is this? What did I get? Oh, I think I got the same shirt as the nude one, but in black. Just like wardrobe essentials. Yeah, a tight little mini turtleneck top, long sleeves. I feel like this is just a really simple, cute piece. Okay, I'm gonna try these on right after. Next, I ordered these. Is this, these are the boots, yeah, okay. I ordered these boots because I don't have boots like this and I will need them. And I also got them on sale. Okay. I really hope these work out for me. Oh my gosh, it's a big box. Okay, oh and it's heavy. Wow, I hope these don't weigh too much in my suitcase. Wow, it's really heavy. These are the Gia Times Pernil, or I guess it's the Gia and Pernil Taste Bake collab. Okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Ooh, I love. Nice, I'm definitely going to keep these. I love, love, love. As long as they fit me, I'm gonna try them on after. I mean, I got my usual size, a size 40. They're just like these flat suede black boots. And I wanna wear these with like either really skinny jeans or like tights, like black tights. Or black pantyhose too. These are gonna be perfect for where I'm going. Okay, and then last but not least, one more package. package these packages look like they've been through like some serious serious travels they're like boxes are falling apart the tape is like coming off this whoa whoa crazy crazy in here i got this coat from stan studio from farfetch oh my gosh and i think i got a large size right because I want it oversized. What size did I get? A Danish 40? I think DK is Danish, right? Wait, yeah, size 40. Faux leather, long trench coat. I really thought I had shoulder pads, so I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit bummed. I thought in the images, it didn't say in the description, but I sometimes it doesn't, but it does have shoulder pads. And I thought in the image it looked like the girl had shoulder pads and she had this on. So I'm gonna try this on and let's hope it fits. I would do a try on for you guys right now, but I just don't have time. I have to get ready or we're not gonna be able to make it with the plan we have going on for later. So I need to start getting ready, but I will let you know if something doesn't work out. Either way, you're gonna see it in an upcoming vlog. If I do decide to keep the pieces, like you'll get to see them on when I'm wearing them. But yeah, either way, I'm going to link everything down below if you guys are interested in trying anything out. But I'm really curious about how this is gonna look. Probably can't see it when I'm just like sitting down, but it's a long leather trench. The quality is really good, I'm not gonna lie. The quality feels good. Not a fan of the button. The button looks cheap, but this was not a cheap jacket either, or coat, I should say. It's not a cheap coat. So I'm about to try it all on and then go shower and I'm gonna see you guys after. I wanted to quickly show you guys my birthday outfit. We're headed out to dinner and I'm wearing this long jumpsuit with these YSL heels and my little black Celine bag. I felt like it just matched everything really nicely. Simple, 
big cue. That was the goal for tonight. And then for hair and makeup, I didn't really do my hair. I just took it out of the pony that it was in and honestly left it, which you can kind of tell because it looks a little bit messed up. But we're just gonna go with it. Um, makeup is from like 8 a.m. this morning. As you can tell, I kind of like used a little bit of powder, but it's so glowy and oily at this point, but we're just gonna, it's nighttime, so we don't care about that. Um, we're gonna go with the flow and head to dinner. So I'll see you guys later, bye. We're walking over to the restaurant. I already showed you guys my outfit, but I don't know why I'm showing you again. Oh, sorry. I smoke illegally. Uh oh. Someone's upset. People are out yelling on a Wednesday. Um, we're in design. We're going to Catalina. What? What is it called? <laughs> what is it called? Contessa. Contessa. I keep getting the name wrong, but that's just how I am. I can't remember things. Um, but Contessa, it just opened up maybe like a month ago. Brand new, but we heard amazing things about it. I'm surprised I am just walking around in these heels right now. But I gotta say, these YSLs, so comfortable. So these are pretty comfortable for heels. Like I know if I wear these, I'm not gonna die right away. There's some pairs of shoes I just can't walk in. These are not like that. So yeah. I'm not really hungry, but I'll eat. I tried a little bit of those donuts you got. Yo. That'll bless us with some Yo. glazed donuts. And they were so good. So good. So good. They aren't like your regular Krispy Kreme donuts. No, these are next level glazed donut. I love a classic regular donut, like a little glazed donut. That's all I need. Mean. And those are amazing. But I've just been way too full to be eating four donuts. But it looks like you already had one of them too. Yeah, I did have one. You had one, I'm gonna have one later. Tomorrow probably, realistically. Tomorrow. So yeah, we'll see you guys at dinner. It is Thanksgiving morning. I just went to Whole Foods this morning. I told you guys, I have to unload the dishwasher. Um, I went to Whole Foods to go pick up the Thanksgiving food and I figured I would do a little grocery haul. I picked up a few extra things because we just needed a few extra, well not a few extra, we ran out of some stuff. So, okay, let me start off. I think they gave me like cooking instructions because you have to like cook some of the stuff and warm it back up. This is the traditional herb stuffing, creamy mashed potatoes, Green beans, um, cranberry sauce, and then the turkey gravy. And I got this like feta and roasted garlic dip. It looks really good. That's just in general. And then from the little bar, I got like roasted garlic. I love garlic so much. Olives, love them too. And then the dolmas. That was rice. I got this beef bone broth. Vanilla superfood creamer is with mushrooms. Vanilla extract and coconut creamer plant-based with 
already used their blue pills. I've talked to you about them before. I ran out and I got a refill. And then they also sent me the bloat latte. I'm excited to try this out. You pretty much mix it in with a cup of non-dairy milk or whatever liquid of your choosing, I guess. You could use milk if you like milk, but it says froth and sweeten to taste. And I guess it has caffeine in here because or maybe not because it says latte. Anyways, I'm gonna try this. And then Longevity also sent me a plant-based superfood cafe mocha focus energy endurance recovery like powder. Um, it has superfoods, cacao, maca, and koji berries, omega protein from flaxseed, hemp, and chia seeds. Digestive support from acidophilus probiotics and it has a yerba mate, a green tea, herbe, herbe mate? No, yerba mate. Yerba mate, herba mate, I don't know, I've heard people say both. You get the point. So that's that. And then, oh. <laughs> TP. We ran out, well, we're about to run out. Cannot run out of that. And then with the Thanksgiving meal, we also got some brioche buns. Lobster bisque. Oh, here's my little cooking instructions. Need this for sure, I cannot lose that. Oh, do we have to make this? Oh, but at least it's like seasoned and like, ooh. This is just a turkey breast. I'm probably gonna have to put that in advance, fans, because I know it takes forever. Mac and cheese, oh my gosh. My mouth is literally watering for that mac and cheese right now. And then the maple mashed sweet potatoes. So that's pretty much it. That's the little haul. I'm gonna put everything in the fridge. I'm gonna unload the dishwasher too, and then I'm gonna do some work because it's only 10 a.m. It's pretty early. But we have leftovers from last night at dinner too, so like the fridge is kind of full right now. I need to put this rice in a smaller way. Okay. I need to put that in a way smaller container because it's not even that full. So yeah, okay, it's not gonna fit. Are you trying to make space in this fridge? We actually have a lot of stuff right now. We went from having like an empty fridge to like a really full fridge, which I'm not complaining. I'm thankful for. Thankful for so many things. I had a few conversations this morning with my family and my best friend, and I'm just so thankful for so much. I'm not gonna get into it with you guys now because I feel like I talk to you guys about this a lot, but I am so, so, so thankful for everything in my life like everything there's so much to be happy for and i realize everybody has problems everyone has stuff they're dealing with whether they talk about it or not everybody's going through stuff so if you always like keep that in mind you won't feel as like sad and hopeless sometimes or negative because you realize you're not alone and really in anything in life and there's always somebody out there that can relate with you and there's always somebody out there that can help you or try and put a smile on your face or just listen to you. So, yeah, that's that. Okay, put the TP away and put that in a smaller container. Unload the dishes. I look like I have a poof. It's because my bangs are so short that they barely make it into the pony. And when I like pull on it, it just pushes them back out. Anyways, I was going through my DMs and I literally was teary-eyed for a second because I was going through my DMs and I got some of the sweetest messages for my birthday yesterday and it just made me so happy. I just wanted to hop on here and like share that with you guys. If you do watch this video and you sent me a message, just know. And I, I responded to almost everybody, I believe, so hopefully I didn't miss anybody, but... Um, I, it's so important for me to like take the time and I literally sat down right now to take the time to respond to everybody who sent me a message personally or a DM through my social channels. Um, I just wanted to take that time and not rush and like really thoughtfully respond because I think it's very kind when someone remembers to like reach out and say happy birthday or congratulations on something or whatever's going on in your life. I think that as you grow and you get older and you know your group gets and your circle gets really small, which 
I swear my circle's been small my whole life. I keep it small, small. I don't know, as your circle gets small, you realize like what matters the most and what you look for and the people, like what qualities you look for in the people that are around you. And it just makes it even that much, that much more special when those messages come from people you really care about versus just like acquaintances or cordial friends, X, Y, and Z. Like that doesn't really affect me in any way. It's more so the people that I love and respect dearly. Um, and I'm thankful to have in my life and appreciate so much and they add value to my life and those must it just means a lot and long story short I don't know why I'm going on this tangent, but I was just saying I took time right now to respond to all of those messages and the DMS that some of you guys have sent me Literally brought me to tears. I kid you not because it's so sweet It's hard to describe what it feels like because I can't even describe it myself, but like to not have even met somebody in real life, you feel so close to like the people that you watch. I share so much of my life, so it's really weird for me to say like a stranger because I feel like you're not a stranger. I feel like everybody that watches me or follows me or just engages is like a friend to me because you see so much of my life, but I don't get to see your life so to me i feel like i feel weird and i feel like i don't deserve it sometimes because i don't get to know you the way i would love to get to know you so that i can be friends with you if that makes any sense i don't know i'm like trying to make sense of it in my head but to see people like reach out and send these super thoughtful and sweet birthday messages and like sending me these incredibly sweet wishes of like love and happiness and how I inspire them and I deserve everything and I'm like I'm determined and how I chase my goals unconditionally on my own and just like these kind sweet thoughtful things that you like realize by watching me and like being a part of my life for X amount of time and things that sometimes I don't even notice about myself or things I might take for granted it's just so I don't I can't even describe it. There's such kind souls out there and I'm so appreciative to have an audience That's like that because I feel like it's rare. I don't know. I just felt that way and I wanted to share it with you guys I promise these are tears of happiness in no shape way or form am I sad? I'm just happy. I'm thankful. These are like good tears like but my birthday always falls around Thanksgiving so it actually is really good to like feel this way today because I just feel an overwhelming amount of thankfulness about everything including you guys so love you you could still <gasps> you could still see my neck I mean you could see my tan lines from when I was in Mexico it's only been like a couple weeks but I feel like my tan is fading so quick but you could still see my like necklace tan line cringe Prince gets so jealous when Lyle cuddles me like Lau came over and then Prince comes over and Lau gave me a kiss and Prince is giving me kisses. He gets so jealous. He's such a jealous boy. And then he like paws me. He like puts all his paws on me so that I, he has my attention and that Lau. <laughs> Prince. Okay. All right. 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 You won. You won. You won. Dad's leaving. <laughs> oh, bless you. Oh. You won. Oh, he knows you won. He's like he's watching you too. It's almost 5 p.m. and Lyle is taking Prince out. And he's gonna come help me finish cooking all of this stuff. But I was just working the whole time. I don't know why I'm like yawning. I guess because I've just been sitting and editing content for the last four four or five hours, like I kid you not. Um, it always takes so long, literally editing content for like four different like channels, platforms slash channels, it's just a lot. But it's time to get cooking started. Um, so I have music going. I was wearing like a, I just, so turkey needs to go on first because I think that's gonna take the longest. I have the oven preheating according to the instructions on 350 degrees. I was snacking on the little 
stuff I got from Whole Foods. But I have everything out on the counter and we're gonna start off with the turkey first and get that going. It says 25 to 30 minutes. But first I need to preheat the oven. Oh, this seems like it's gonna be a challenge. I think I need to group them by times. So like if there's a few that are at the same like time frame, I put them in together. So uh, let's see. Okay, these, these can go in at the same time. I need to wrap up this foil. Hey babe, can you grab some foil from the store downstairs? Shoot. I'm just gonna wait to put them all in at the same time because now the time's gonna be different. And then, what is this? Mac and cheese. Corn pudding and mac and cheese. Oh wow. Oh wow, these are way longer than that. And they all have to be covered. Oh no. Okay. Why does it have two asterisks? Oven. Traditional herb stuffing. Place on baking sheet. Bake uncovered for 45 minutes or until product reaches 165. Ah. Uh, okay, this is 45 minutes. I can't even write on here right now. 45 minutes. Okay, so stuffing is 45. Pudding is 60. Okay, mac and cheese has no directions. Of course not, why would I have? What about the green beans? Green beans with shallots, is this? Yeah, green beans with shallots, or 10 to 12. Okay, so beans, I always like to do more than less, so let's do beans are 12, mac and cheese. Not Prince also waiting for his dinner. Look at him. Okay, microwave is done. Hi cutie, you're about to eat as well, hold on. We are gonna still feed him his farmer's dog, but I put some of that beef bone broth in there, and then we're gonna sprinkle a little bit of the turkey, like the inside's not seasoned on the turkey, so we're gonna just put a little bit of turkey in there so he also feels included in the dinner. But we're all gonna eat after we do our blessing. And that's when Prince will also eat when we eat. This is Lao's plate. How good does that look? You just plated it so beautifully, babe. Mine is a little bit more of a mess. It's actually just as big. I know I'm about to be full, but I like to do like a little bit of everything. And if I want more of something, I'll go back. But definitely the mac and cheese is calling my name right now. Mac is dank. I know. I had a bite. It's so good.